honored we are to welcome you, Mr. President, on your first state visit to India. I also commend you for your remarkable stewardship of Portugal's robust democracy. Mr. President, this is your first visit to India, but it is the fourth high-level visit exchanged by our two countries during the last three years. And accompanying them, we have entered into a range of agreements in multiple fields. These have indeed given an unprecedented boost to our bilateral ties and taken our relations to a new high. Today, we have exchanged 14 agreements and understandings in the field of maritime heritage, maritime transport and port development, migration and mobility, startups, intellectual property rights, aerospace, nanobiotechnology, audiovisual co-production, yoga, diplomatic training, scientific research, and public policy. Our collaboration in the field of science and technology is making a new headway. I am delighted that Portugal will be our partner country at the Technology Summit 2020 to be held in Delhi later this year. Our startup collaboration is gaining speed. India looks forward to organizing a youth hackathon in September this year in Portugal. To add to our ongoing joint research projects, we are keen to establish new projects partnership in the fields of marine research, nanotechnology, and other cutting-edge scientific fields under the new Portugal-India 4 million euro joint research fund. Our bilateral economic ties are on the rise. In our discussions today, President Marcelo and I were happy to note that our bilateral trade has crossed a billion dollars. Two-way investments are also rising. We agreed to harness the full potential of bilateral engagement in sectors like infrastructure, blue economy, renewable energy, water and based management, IT, tourism and hospitality. We are encouraged by the India-Portugal automotive roundtable held yesterday. We eagerly look forward to the economic seminar to be held in Mumbai tomorrow. We took positive note of our growing defense engagement and welcomed the convening of the first meeting of the Joint Working Group on Defense yesterday. We look forward to B2B business tie-ups in the defense sector within the framework of Make in India initiative. We welcomed the joint declaration on mobility and migration as a win-win partnership that taps into India's demographic dividend while catering to Portugal's need for a skilled workforce. Both of us agreed that the exchanges of women startup entrepreneurs, hospitality institute students, IIT researchers, and the three sister city partnerships that have been finalized will foster closer people-to-people -people ties. We took note of our close parliamentary relations and expressed happiness that the visiting parliamentarians from Portugal had meaningful discussions with their Indian counterparts. I conveyed to President Marcelo how happy I was to learn that more than 10,000 students are practicing yoga in 162 Portuguese schools. We hope that yoga will soon become a part of the Portuguese school curriculum. Building on our historical ties, I am happy that several agreements with a range of Goan institutes, institutions are going to be formalized during President Marcelo's visit to Goa tomorrow. Portugal-India Global Partnership envisions a strong multipolar world order underpinned 
by enhanced multilateralism. We thank Portugal for its steadfast support for India's permanent membership of the United Nations Security Council. We also thank Portugal for its steadfast support in fighting terrorism. We fondly recall that the first India-EU summit was held during the Portuguese presidency of the European Union in the year 2000. India looks forward to deepening its engagement with the EU when Portugal takes over the presidency once again next year. We agreed that India and Portugal should join hands in developmental and commercial partnerships in third countries. In this context, President Marcelo welcomed India's decision to apply for associate observer membership of the community of Portuguese language countries, that is CPLP. India looks forward to leveraging its shared Lusophone ties in Africa and Latin America through the CPLP platform. Mr. President, we are confident that your visit will lend further momentum to our rapidly growing bilateral partnership. I wish you and your delegation a memorable visit to Mumbai and Goa. Thank you. Moito Obri Gado. Thank you, sir. May I now request Your Excellency, the President of the Portuguese Republic, to deliver his remarks to the media. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Your Excellency and dear President, Namaste. I'm very much touched, deeply emotionally touched, by your very warm reception. Not just your invitation, but the reception that I've been receiving <laughs> with the Portuguese delegation. Both the government and the members of the parliament, all of us. We feel that we're living a new era in the long-lasting friendship that has historical roots, but that is facing mostly the future. We do not forget the past. You spoke of how important is education. And I think of those learning the Portuguese here in India, in your schools also. And also culture. And the ties between uh, cultural institutions everywhere in India, but also in Goa, as we're going to see by signing some of the agreements. But we live in the present uh, that is the present made of change and of the common will, political will, of shaping the future and the better future for both countries. Excellency, you mentioned so many fields where we are cooperating. Economy, technology, science, culture, education, social affairs, defense. And what cooperating, when I say cooperating, I'm speaking of the state, I'm speaking of the companies, I'm speaking of the universities, of social institutions, of the citizens themselves. It's the same wave. And this wave is made also of mutual visits. That's why I invited your Excellency to visit Portugal. I'm so glad that you could accept it for next year. It's a very good news for us to receive you in Portugal. As it has been good news having both prime ministers visiting each other in the last few years. And it is even a better news the fact of having, during our presidency of the European Union, the subject of the relationship between the European Union and India 
being deepened in the first semester of next year. As it is a wonderful news for everybody, the fact of uh, knowing that there is a support and also the Portuguese support for you belonging as permanent member of the Security Council of the United Nations. It's a kind of recognition of uh, your role in the world. It's not just a problem of population, not even of economic growth, not even of uh, social power, not only of being the largest democracy in the world, but the fact that you are a key country for the balance of power in the world. And that is, for us, Portugal and Portuguese is very, very, very important. You will be treated at the highest level in the next conference on the oceans this June. Because the oceans themselves, they unify our wills, political wills. That's also why the agreement on the Maritime Museum is so important. Because it's a museum conceived for the past, but also for the future, for the research concerning the oceans. And not only the science and technology, but also the economic approach to the ocean. Never forgetting, as Your Excellency mentioned, migrations. People must know each other. And migration is a key point for inclusive societies. Uh, is yours and is the Portuguese. It's very important for mankind, for humanity. As it is, the challenge of climate change we are facing, working together, cooperating together, multilaterally and bilaterally. So that's why I said we're living a new era made of concrete achievements, of concrete steps, signing agreements, creating new companies, making new investments, having people moving from one country to the other, knowing each other educationally and culturally. Thank you. Thank you very much for this occasion. And uh, we'll never forget how important was this step in the phases we live in. I say it on behalf of the Portuguese people, thanking you, Excellency, but also all the Indian people. Thank you. Thank you. That's okay, Excellency. Thank you, Excellency. This concludes our press event for today. Yes, Excellency. Thank you very much.